MD95 TSI is here. What's up, guys? <laughs> I was looking through my toy drones and think, thinking, you know, I think I may have found a donor for this little guy. I don't have the money right now to put brushless and all that craziness onto this thing. So, where I tried these props out yesterday, I'm thinking, hmm. And this arm was already melted anyway because I had it heated up when it came in the box. It literally was turned sideways. So, what I'm thinking is, nipping it off here, cutting it right through here, and then that way, it, I got this off, but once, okay, the whole arm here, so if I nip it off here, you can see I have a round thing, okay? So then if I take this drill bit here, I have all kind of tools. I am a tool guy. I work on cars, you saw that about my, watch my videos about the Magnum. So okay, then if I take this, put right in the center of that dot right there, and burr this out, let's see, I think, yeah, and go ahead and drill that out, right? This would fit down in there. And then I could, uh, I guess just like a dab of super glue or hot glue actually. Just take the hot glue and just run like a little bead around there and you just push it down there and let it seat, let it dry. Or let it cool down rather. And then go ahead and run my wires and the board on this guy is nothing. I mean, she's literally a little tiny square board. Um, the board has to be center to fly so the board would go under this plate from like here to here so you're going to look through him and see the circuit board so that'd be pretty cool and I think I might flip it back over this side up with the plate instead of it flipped over so yeah See if we can't get it together and get something flying out of this. And I like doing things like this on camera because it goes to show you guys what kind of skills that I have. That I can't, or I don't only fly them. I uh, I can build them too. And this is where I'm at with this guy. We got that piece to mount there. Got some motors to solder up, and then the pack. And then that's what that turned out looking like versus the one with all the super glue on it that I showed, or all the hot glue on it that I showed you. And now I can run regular props like I got on here, which will make it fast as heck. It's got a little relief cut for camera. Yep. So anyway, guys, let's see what I can get done here. I'll record my progress as I go along. Okay. So I went ahead and put the hole in it. Nipped it off of this guy. Have it here, okay? So I'm taking, put that in through here, and lock it down. Look at that. So you have this part hanging off of it, but you have to because of the pins right here. If you put these pins on the inside. So I'm saying it fits so much better this way. It's almost like it was made for it, which it honestly was, because that was the intention when I did it. <laughs> so, yeah. hot glue in that bad boy right in place bam motor will slide up through here and then we have back over here a little piece that will go through and cap the motor off which has to be trimmed down a little bit more 
and then that's what it'll look like underneath. So you can see work in progress here. I got this one mounted. Gonna clean up the glue spurs. Put the cap on the bottom. Put the board mounted. Put this one in. This one is gonna all cut. So it might not be brushless, but hopefully it will fly. Like I said, just don't have the funds right now for brushless. So I had a donor laying around, Sky Viper. Everyone knows the arms on that thing up and down, vibrating. Just won't move on this one, I don't think. Check it out, check it out. Yes. It actually lifted off and I flew it at LBV and dropped to the ground. I slapped the 3D printer. Oh man, it was luck. It didn't stop the print. So like I said, I didn't have the money for the brushless at the time. So I went ahead and did what I had to do. And it flies. A little tuning and she'll be ready to roll.